All right, so in the last video, we saw that we were able to take some data out of the form when we click Submit, all right? We check for this, this Submit attribute value here, up here, and when the form was submitted, we echo this, right? So we were able to check on that. So now what we need to do is check on the rest. We need to actually pull this information from the rest of the document here, from the uh, form, and do something with it. So if you didn't get it right last time, if you for some reason could not do it, you're going to be able to do it now. So all we got to do is add the same name attribute here to this form, to this input, and I'm just going to call this username. We're going to be pulling the username out of here. And you don't have to name a username, that's what I'm using. You can name a name, you can name it whatever you want. It's up to you. I'm going to name this password. I just want to be descriptive. Oops. All right. So now that we got that set, we got to receive it up here. So if the, if the post, if the form was submitted, what do I want to do? I want to go ahead and grab this here. And we're going to get something called the username, right? Username because we're going to get that from the form data and we are going to be getting right we're going to go be getting this one also so we can actually turn these values we can play around with these values the way they are but why would why we want to do that let's make this a little bit more friendly right let's make this username let's make this into a variable called username so that way we can play around with it like this it's a lot better than than having the whole thing there the, like this so when when these values come in the, we find out the form was submitted remember that every time we click on submit all these values get sent in the in the form all of them they all get sent what we're doing right here is checking if the form was set then we want to do some things with it because if the form was not set and we start doing things with it PHP is gonna say hey wait 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 what are you doing I don't have this username I don't have this value and it's going to give us an error, okay? So right now, if the form was submitted, we are playing it safe. We pull the data from here, from the username. We pull the data from the password, actually. we got to change the value here, right? And then we turn it into variables. Perfect, right? So we can go ahead and echo this if we wanted to right now. We can go ahead and echo password just to find out and we can go ahead and echo username right so let's check on that let's let's see how that works and we get some errors right here and that's the whole reason why well I'll, I'll explain about that later about not setting not checking for the values if we don't check we get an error but anyway so let's go ahead and Edwin and I'm just going to type some password. All right, submit. Ah, you see that? We get the hello student, we get the password first, and then we get the username. We should actually echo the username first, right? Let's do it right here. And let's just, and we can concatenate this with a string. Let's say hello. And then we can say your password. Password is that is that would be weird if we do that in a real life situation, right? They would get they would freaked out that we know their password, right? Uh, we do that in application in a application. So Edwin, and then we say, see. I'm just going to type my password. Hello, Edwin. Your password is Superman. Oh, man. They know my password. Jeez. All right. So we were able to do that. You see how beautiful that is? We can find the data here and do things with it. And this is not the only thing with it. Usually what we do is we use this username and place it inside a database check it to see if it's there and if it's there we log in the user sometimes we create users actually creating this field in the database right so most of the time that's what we we do this for 
So I'm just right now doing it like this. So give you, it gives you an example on how we can extract data from the form. How can we um, do other things with it right here, like we're doing right here. All we're doing right now is echoing the information. But like I said, we can do many things with it. All right. So in this video, you learn how to extract the rest, the remaining data of the form and how to do a couple things with it. On the next video, I want to show you how we can validate some of these data, how we can find out if the, you know, if they typed something here and for some reason it didn't match up. It, you're going to see the next video is going to be fun. If you like this one, the next video, you're going to like it a lot more. So anyway, I'm just going to, and I'm not even going to tell you anymore because I want it to become a surprise. But anyway, shh, don't tell nobody. Let's go ahead and jump into the next lecture. Take care.